Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about a plugin named Password Policy Enforcer, which as its name stands for it, uh, deal with uh, the password policy of uh, your company when it comes to Matoo. So by default what Matoo is doing is that it's allowing people to create a password which is minimum six characters long. And as you can imagine, in some companies that may not be uh, considered as very uh, strict password combination, and of course uh, you may require people to have stronger password than this. Of course, it really depends on uh, the kind of data that you are collecting. So the more critical your data are, uh, the stricter your password policy uh, should be. Um, it's as well very interesting to know this plugin because then it's touching uh, one topic that you have to cover with Matomo if uh, you have a Matomo on-premise install, which is uh, the security part. Um, so uh, yes, um, here is the situation. Um, let's say I have a, let's say let's, I have an account over here. This account is let's say unsecure. Uh, the login is AAAAB and the password is the same. Okay, as you can see, it's a six character long. As you can see, I can enter within uh, within the system, which of course is is kind of problematic. What this um, Plugin is going to do is that once it's installed, it's a community plugin, you get the settings part, and within the settings part, you can uh, define uh, what are your expectations in terms of password policy. So, in my case, I'm going to go for eight characters long. I'm going to require at least one uppercase letter. I'm going to uh, require as, uh, also uh, special characters within, uh, within the. Uh, within the the password. Okay, uh, just to let you know that um, if one of your users have set a password in the past which was weak, this password is still um, active. Okay, so for example, as you can see, I can still enter with my weak uh, password. So you will need in any cases to tell to your users, okay, please uh, just update your, your password. Uh, then what's going to happen is that when they want to set the new uh, the new password, so let's say in my case, that's going to be, uh, so I say it's uh, the new password. So in my case was AAAB. I'm going to go for uh, capital A at the beginning, and then I'm going to use like the hash uh, character at the end, and I'm going to use, uh, let's say, AA, okay, so like this, I have eight characters. So uh, new password, as I said, is A. Uh, so we said after that it's uh, one, two, three, four, B, and we said that uh, we did the hash and A A. Okay, and your current password we said it was one, two, three, four, five, A and the B. Okay. Um, so okay. I don't care about this part. So here settings have been updated. And now uh, as a result, but well, of course, if I want uh, to connect back to the system, I will need to enter uh, the, full, uh, the full combination. So here in my case, this old password won't work anymore. And uh, uh, I need now to uh, enter the real password in order to be able to get in, which was A, 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 A. So five times, then B, then Ash then say a a and that should do the trick and that's it um, if someone is trying in fact to enter um, some characters which are not uh, expected uh, so for example here let's say that new password is going to be like a a and that they try to uh, move on with oops uh, so I'm gonna try Okay, I could not verify that the reason is that's the new password. Uh, we said it's, let's go for a weak password like this one and new password, uh, it's the same. So I'm gonna go just for like this. And here it's, uh, we say it was A, one, two, three, four, B, hash, A, A. And here you will get in fact uh, the message telling you that's uh, the password combination that you are trying to uh, to make uh, does not fit the expectation of the uh, password uh, enforcer policy. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.